Hi, I'm Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. This is my YouTube video channel where I discuss all things in jazz and tap, technique, history, and what's going on in the field. Um, right now, we're working on a series on tap dancing, and so we're going to bring you some new videos today. Uh, what I'm going to work on is something called a waltz clog step, W-A-L-T-Z, waltz clog and waltz time. Um, it's a step that was, uh, you know, it's from a while ago. Um, but the basics are something everybody knows, step, shuffle, ball change, but I find when I teach even particularly at Broadway Dance Center in New York City, um, and I'm asked for a waltz clog and people are, seem to be clueless, they don't know the terminology. So this is a very basic step, it's very simple, uh, but it's something you need to know. We're going to do it in a five count, in a six count, and I'm also going to add an eight count waltz clog, which is one that I rarely, rarely ever see anywhere. I'm not even sure where I learned this from in my history or whether it's just something I developed myself. But we're going to do an eight count waltz clog. So let's get going on these three versions of this very basic but very needed tap dance step. Okay, well the first thing we need to know about the waltz clog is that it's in waltz time. So our timing is in three, four. So we're going to count one, two, three, one, two, three. Or if we want to change it into six, we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So as I stated before, the basics are a step, a shuffle, and a ball change. So if I step out, change the weight, take a shuffle, and a ball change in the back. If I try the other side, a step a shuffle and a ball change. And when I say step, I'm tapping on the ball of the foot, not a stamp and a flat foot. Stay off of the heel. So we have step, shuffle, ball change, step, shuffle, ball change, step, shuffle, ball change, step, shuffle, ball change. Now notice that the step is opening and the shuffle is to the side and the ball change closes in the back. Right? I go open, close back, open, so it has a little bit of a side-to-side -side rock to it as we do the waltz clog step. So that's a five count. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, to build on that, we go to a six count. Very simple. Instead of a step, I add a brush so it becomes a fall lap. That's where I'm going to get my extra count. So I have fall lap, shuffle, ball change, fall lap, shuffle, ball change, fall lap, shuffle, ball change, fall lap, shuffle, ball change. Still stepping opening and crossing my uh, ball change in the back. So if I start after six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and I'm still opening, closing in the back. And if you notice, I'm still swinging the rhythm. And one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three. We're not doing this. Which would be a straight rhythm, okay? Now, one thing I need to get is that jazz stance. The knees have to be bent, body is slightly forward, and I have a little up feeling as I do my flat because I'm going to jump, but I'm always with the bent knees. I'm never going to be with stiff knees to make this work. So that was the six count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the eight counts. I need to add two counts in there. I'm going to add two heel drops to make this work. So from here, we start with the same full lap, but then I drop the heel. So the very beginning, okay, full lap heel. Then I add shuffle ball change from the waltz clog, shuffle ball change, and a heel at the end. So we have a heel towards the beginning and right at the end. The lap heel shuffle ball change heel. If I try the other side, six, seven, eight. Okay, now you notice I counted in eight. Now we're changing by adding two counts. We're going six to eight. So I'm back into regular four, four time. So I would start after eight, five, six, seven, eight. The lap heel shuffle ball change heel. The lap heel shuffle ball change heel. Okay. Now, the tricky thing about this is that it's just the opposite in one way of the five and six count. We would step open and cross back, open, cross back. On the eight count, we have to flip-flop that. We actually start with a flap heel over. 
I'm crossing my leg. Then I bring the leg out and I do the shuffle to the side on the inside part of the toe. So it's not here, but it's here. Shuffle. Then I do my ball change out to the side. Ball change. It's a little rock back. Ball change. Heel. So I cross, shuffle side, ball change out. Six, seven, eight. Flap, heel, shuffle, ball change, heel. Now I cross, flap, heel, shuffle, ball change, heel. Okay. And if I want to do that straight through, now this is a straight rhythm. You could swing it if you want to, but normally we keep this straight. And one and two and three, four and five and six and seven and eight. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Flap, heel, shuffle, ball, change, heel. Flap, heel, shuffle, ball, change, heel. Flap, heel, shuffle, change, heel. Flap, heel, shuffle, ball, change, heel. That's my eight counts. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, usually there's always a countering of the arm against the leg, either side, add a little port de bras. And we will always have that leg to the side with a nice slope in there. Sometimes we would even do this with a little porter bra. You would do things like this with Paul Draper, where you would do waltz clogs and use a little porter bra in there too. Okay? So I want to get a little faster. I want to get a little speed on my feet. Nice fluidity. So I would go five, six, seven, eight. Now, with that, there's also a break. I'm not going to teach that today. There's also turns we can do, so we'll do that in another video. So today's video is all about waltz clog. Five count, six count, eight count. And that's it, okay? So work on those, that's a really good one, especially the eight count waltz clog. You don't see that very often, and it's something that's very good for your feet to develop your speed. Um, I'm Bob Boros, this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. If you like the videos, please subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and also click like. Once you click like, it tells YouTube that it's got good information, and it's more likely that they're gonna put this into rotation for other people to see. So thanks for stopping by for the videos, and we'll be back again with another Tap Dance video.